the fan apps uh, with the Detroit Army Corps of Engineers joins us now with what's being done to mitigate this significant issue. Let's start with why the water levels are so high. Yeah, so the Great Lakes are a, a little unique in the fact that they go through a seasonal cycle every year. So we typically are at the point uh, where we're reaching their seasonal low in water levels. Uh, as we get into the spring months, as we see increased precipitation and increased runoff, we see the seasonal rise in lake levels, uh, usually reaching their peak sometime in the summer months before entering their period of seasonal decline in the fall and early winter, which is primarily driven by evaporation. In recent years, we've seen really unprecedented precipitation in the region, which has really brought us from generally a period of low water to now a period of high water that we're seeing on the Great Lakes and have seen over the last couple years. Dan, what are the ramifications of that? We're seeing some video here of some erosion. Anything beyond that that, that you know, the Army Corps of Engineers really has to contend with? So with the, with the high lake levels, that it definitely contributes to coastal flooding, shoreline erosion, especially during uh, active periods of weather where we see storms moving across the region. Uh, that can lead to very strong winds and increased wave heights. Uh, that can, you know, that can really lead to some significant impacts across the shore, like property damage, uh, and just really significant impacts of flooding and, and and erosion throughout the Great Lakes Basin we've seen over these recent years. What can be done to help mitigate those impacts? They are significant. Yeah, so across the Great Lakes, that is really going to be site specific, depending on where you are, the type of shoreline that you're on. Uh, a few measures that uh, have been taken could be uh, sandbag walls, uh, employing in inflatable flood barriers, um, you know, improving revetment that might be there. Uh, and really, probably the best adaptation strategy is if that structure can be moved further back on, on the, sh you know, further back on the shore, that would be, you know, the best strategy. Well, Anna asks, we thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, for uh, giving us your expertise and, and I think raising awareness of something that a lot of people may not have even known about. So thank you, Deanna. Uh, by the way, Deanna, a guest on Weather Geeks. Make sure you tune into that uh, podcast. You can find it wherever you get your favorite podcasts. And still to come on